Hello Billy, back at it again with another Life of Game Hunting video and welcome back to this week. So this week I have one small Craigslist deal and um, the reason why this is going to be a short episode is because I went to Cedar Point for three days, for the past three days. So um, yeah, that happened. So I'm going to, today I'm going to show you that small Craigslist deal and I'm going to go on Craigslist and I'm going to show you something else. And you know what? I still have a video for this week. And I just got back on Sunday. So, mmm. And you know what? Some people leave first to go somewhere and they won't have a video. So, boom. I still have a video for you guys and I'm happy. So, let's get straight to it. Hello, Billy here. And I am doing my first sell of this week. And we are selling a original Xbox with four games Sim Sim Sit and Run. State of Emergency. I've been trying to sell these games forever. This golf game and uh, Sega GT 2002 and Jet Set Radio Future. This Xbox works. It's clean. Controllers with cords for 50 bucks. The woman's like, can I buy without the without the steering wheel? So I was like, sure, whatever. So I'm going to pack this up. Be there in about 15 minutes and yeah, you're going to see this deal. Let's see. Let's see how it's going to go down. This bitch just, so she texted me just now. I just got home from somewhere, I'm selling the Xbox. So she just texted me, she said, I, would, I said, I'm in a red Chevy Cobalt. She said, I would, ra I would prefer to meet in the store. That is the weirdest thing ever. I've not, never ever had to meet somebody in the store. But I'm gonna just bring my GoPro, I don't know. I wanna bring my GoPro in cause it's funny, but I don't think I can, so that kinda sucks. But I don't know. This is gonna be real funny though, honestly, so. So not much exciting stuff. I just walk into the Giant Eagle. This guy said, you selling that? I'm like, no shit. No, I didn't say that. But I just said, yeah, like, what do you think I'm doing with it? So I walk in, she's like, she's like skinny as fuck. And I can see why. I would prefer to meet in the store because she's literally like the smallest fucking girl ever. And like, she's like, does it all work and stuff? And I'm like, yeah. Boom. Back at home and we are good. So let's recap for these three weeks. So for the past three weeks, they've been pretty good. I, I got some games, consoles, and for <coughs> um for past three weeks in the season of the life of game hunting, I mostly sold the stuff. Um, I gained some N64 games. I sold a lot of consoles and I still have some consoles to sell right now after we look here I just sold the um what is this OG Xbox I don't know I did that, I'm, that messed up so for 50 bucks <coughs> I bought an Atari game sealed for five Tomb Raider you know I sold that I sold Harvest Moon I sold my NES I sold Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 I sold Mario 64 I bought a ColecoVision you know, so there's everything that you see here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm short $372, which is not that bad because once I sell all the PS2s, 2600 and all the games, I will probably have my money back, nor neither, maybe probably more, depends on what's going on. So <coughs> I was just showing a recap of stuff. So, so this three weeks has been going very well been kind of slow recently because I just went on my vacation and um, just other stuff so I had to get picked I had to pick up some more I'm probably going to a flea market this Sunday which is going to be pretty cool and I can't wait for that so yeah that's going to be in the life of game hunting next Monday so that's why this Monday was kind of slow because I didn't really do much so there's this so one thing I'm going to show you is a Craigslist deal how do I go on Craigslist and how do I <coughs> How do I look on Craigslist for stuff? So obviously here's Craigslist. I don't know why it looks weird. It just does. And yeah, um, I type in video games, and that's pretty much what all I do. Because why do why type something? So video games is going to show you everything. What I do is go to relevant to the newest, and it shows me a whole bunch of crap. So <coughs> <coughs> you see here. You, you're looking, this is the Pittsburgh area by the way, that's where I live. So you see here, there's a bunch of crap and people are, I don't know why, shelving and stuff is in the video game stuff. 
fidget spinners and you know most of the stuff is annoying so you gotta go through all the crap so the first thing I see in this I seen this before is an Atari in the box with three games for $75 which is good I'm surprised nobody has bought this yet because in the box you don't really see the box ever and it's pretty cool so if it was 60 and maybe closer I would probably get it but it's a little too expensive for 75 so I'm not gonna look and everything I look at is for resale value so <coughs> if I buy that I would sell the console for 60 keep the box and that's pretty much it so if it was 60 I would buy it just for the box and get my money back so we see we see GameCube games in bright New Brighton that's kinda far so he has 10 GameCube games most have some scratches all but three are five dollars each if you want them all fifty dollars so as you see here there's not many games in here to begin with so back up <coughs> earlier I seen an N64 for hundred thirty dollars it was just posted I said still available so it's gone now it came with the N64 it came with three controllers cords everything it came with like 20 to 30 games some of those games are Conquer Bad for a day which is a fifty dollar game Mario 64, which is a $20 game, Diddy Kong Racing, $20 game, um, Pokemon Stadium 2, $25 game, um, I'm trying to think what else, so many other different games, so I would have bought that for $130, I, I was going to buy it, I was seriously going to buy it, I would have bought that for $130, sold the system for 60 with some other games that came with it, sold Conker's Bath Friday for like 40 then 20 20 20 20 profit out the ass but nope it was gone so I said still available she said yep and I'm like okay will you locate and she's like oh wait it's gone or something somebody picked it up and I'm like you just said it was still available literally in two seconds she emailed me back two seconds it wasn't a span of like hours it was literally two seconds I'm like what do you <laughs> mean <coughs> <coughs> So I'm looking down, this is my stuff, um, Xbox One, I don't look at newer stuff because I just don't, and that's, Craigslist is pretty dry right now, um, N64 Zelda Ocarina of Time game for $45, which is crap, wait, wait, what, <coughs> oh yeah, so just the game itself of $45, which is crap. Um, Virtual Boy stuff, which is weird. I've never seen Virtual Boy stuff on Craigslist. So this is a um, Japanese Vertical Force game for Virtual Boy. You never see these games out in the wild. I've never seen a Virtual Boy ever, even in game stores, like never. Um, <coughs> finding a game on Craigslist is pretty insane. And is the same one, so yeah, and same. Anything else? <coughs> That's pretty much it for Craigslist recently. Um, the most recent thing I found on Craigslist was that that would have been the N64 line. Oh, speaking of a story, this Atari 2600 comes with two hundred dollars. From someplace far, six switch Atari, same pictures, same crappy games. So this guy, <coughs> um, this guy, I heard has been posting on Craigslist for seven years, and I remember seeing this back in high school, like two years ago, and he posts every single day, and he blows up Craigslist every single day. So this thing has literally been. And this guy has on Craigslist for years and years and years. Nobody's gonna buy for two hundred dollars, so and it's annoying. <coughs> so this looks cool. Two Atari consoles. Are these in the box? This looks cool. So two Atari systems. Um they look so clean. It's we that's weird. That looks, that's like the cleanest Atari I've ever seen in my whole life. Anyways, um, 
some games I think these games are in the box too that's cool so two Atari systems for fifty dollars who knows if the quads come with them it's a good price but like um eh it's not that good especially for Atari's and I'm still trying to, to sell an Atari and nobody's interested in it so that's kinda disappointing <coughs> this is weird I hate when people say looking for highest offered or best trade like that's stupid oh yeah and this is another thing I was looking at um this is a to tournament 2000 by Unisonic is a Pong system and it was an AVGN and I, I found it I'm like hmm, I really want this thing so a hundred dollars for all comes with a TV and system and I said I was just wondering I said would you do 50 for just the system she's like yeah but you know on eBay this is even cheaper and it's a Pong system so you can't play it by yourself and it's pretty much worthless like it would be cool to have but I'm not gonna spend fifty dollars just on this so it's kind of this. I want it, but not for fifty dollars. No way for a hundred with the TV. So I want it, but it's maybe if I can get it for twenty to thirty, yeah, but not for fifty. <coughs> so that's the only. That's my Craigslist thing. I just look through Craigslist, and then I look through Craigslist maybe every hour of most days um it depends what i do but i usually look on craigslist almost all the time and i don't look i don't type anything else up i don't look at old posts because they're pointless uh i don't look at old posts because they would probably be gone already be sold already or whatever and you know it's just not worth it so i look at newest type in video games and that's it i look on the first page and that's it i don't go any older because you know that's pretty much it so <coughs> but that n64 thing made me so mad it was literally just posted boom it's gone in a second that craigslist is pretty ham but that's gonna do it for this week's episode of life of game hunting i hope you enjoyed this week's episode of life of game hunting and hopefully next week we can go to the flea market look for more stuff hopefully we can catch people slipping sell more stuff and we can hopefully we can get back on track with Life of Game Hunting. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Building out. Hey guys, hope you really liked that video. And if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You should also check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. See you again, again soon. soon.